Hello there, year four. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is our next science class, and now I'm standing here again in the classroom. And look, what is behind me? Yes, the map of Hungary. And what kind of map is this? Look, I can see different colors. Lots of green, some blues, and then browns and kind of yellowish hues and shades as well. Yes, this is the special kind of outline of Hungary. It's a, it's a special map of Hungary. Outline or ground plan. It's, um, it actually basically shows you all the different features of Hungary, but there are no words written on it. So how can this help? Later on we will see how. Uh, today you need your book at page 82 and 83, and we are also going to work on page 86. Oh, let's start with that. So, after checking the ground plan of Hungary, a uh, ground plan is actually alaprajz. So, it's a bit like that because you can see the borders and many other features. Uh, we can also check the major regions of Hungary and the different colors show you that. If you turn to page 86, you can find the names of these there. So, let's see. Um, Great Hungarian Plain. That's the biggest part, and if I use my pen here, I can even symbolize it. I think on your uh, map, it's right here in the middle, so that can be number one. So let's write it there. Little Hungarian Plain. It's like the little brother of the Great Hungarian Plain. It's also green on the map, so that's gonna be number two. And next one, Transdanubian hills with the Mecek mountains. Uh, Mecek is in the south and the Transdanubian hills are all around it up to Lake Balaton. So that's going to be number three. And then Transdanubian mountains. So actually it is uh, kind of uh, south, west, north, east uh, directed mountain range. And that is number four. Yes. Okay. And then number five, North Hungarian Mountains. It's in the name that is in the north, so we can find it there on the map, this brown color. Next one is West Hungarian Borderland. It's near the border, this red line is the border. The other name is, uh, or one part of it is also called Foot of the Alps, so that is number six. And then number seven is Lake Balaton the biggest lake in Hungary. Actually, the word lake means, or, or the word Balaton means lake, so this is why we rarely add the word to it. So number seven, and the two big rivers of Hungary. Uh, the longer one is actually Tisza within Hungary. Can you see, there are lots of little bends, and this is why it's a bit longer, but only inside the country. Uh, if we have a look at the whole length of the rivers, Danube is much longer. So 8 is Danube, because we are here in Budapest, I'm just going to place it here, but it comes all along, can you see, zzz, goes down, and then the river Tisza again goes to the south, so that is number 9. So now we have these, okay, and I hope you have that in the book as well. I just want to show you the names. Now they are written all here. Uh, this one has a tiny bit different name on this particular map, but it's still the Transdanubian Hills, and the Mecek is a middle mountain range, so it kind of stands out here. Okay, but uh, as I mentioned, today we would like to learn about uh, some things connected to these physical maps or relief maps. Relief map means Domborzati Terkip, so it shows you lots of different colors, like these, blue and green and kind of orangey, yellowish and light brown and dark brown. So let's see what they mean, but first let's read the text. Ready, steady, go. A map is also a grand plan. It shows regions, countries, continents or the whole earth reduced in size. On each map you can find a scale number, which shows how many times the map is smaller than reality. 1 to 100,000 means that 1 centimeter on the map is 100,000 centimeters, 1,000 meters, 
equals one kilometer in reality. On each map, the directions are in the same positions. North is at the top, south is at the bottom, east is on the right, and west is on the left. Different maps show different information. A relief map shows the surface of an area. The surface has different features, such as lowlands, hills, and mountains. They are called geographical features. They are marked in different colors, green, yellowish, brown on the relief map. Yellowish, brown and brown on the relief map. There are also numbers on the relief map. These numbers are called elevation numbers. Elevation numbers show the height of the areas above sea level. Rivers, lakes, seas and oceans are also marked on the relief map. The color of the water is always blue. So we have some keywords here on page 83 as well, so you can just say the words after me. Area, terület, artificial, mesterséges, canal, csatorna, continent, földrész, elevation number, magassági szám, farthest, legtávolabb, features, felszíni formák, Island, sziget, natural, természetes, region, régió, tájegység, relief map, domborzati térkép, sea level, tengerszint, surface, felszín, topographical map, helyrajzi térkép. So, if we talk about maps, I want you to see also some more details about them. So, I'm going to open one of my special presentations on maps. I hope you can see it well. Yeah. So this is what you have in your book too. Just uh, this special image here is written in Hungarian and English. So you can make sure that you know all these words. Like see, Tenger, depression is Mayfield. Depression means that it's uh, under sea level. It can be dangerous to live there because it can happen that the sea comes over the kind of higher areas and then uh, water can flood the place. Plain, Alfur, Hillocks, Hills, Domshag, Middle Mountains, Közép Hetsi. Fenshik is always written here, but that's called Plateau, so that's written there uh, as well. And High Mountains, Magas Hegység. There are some things which you can't find in Hungary at all. Let's see what. So, I think everybody knows that we have plains and hills and middle mountains. They are typical in Hungary. But do we have a sea? No. Depressions which are deeper than sea level? No, in Hungary you can't find areas like that. And do we have any high mountains over 1,500 meters? No, absolutely not. So those are the parts which we don't have. Now, please help me. What color can you see then? Green color on the map. Green always means that it's a lowland plain. And uh, how high are these areas? Let's see what is behind this thingy. Yeah, between 0 and 200 meters. If it's taller than 200 meters, it's not a lowland or hill anymore. So, I would like you to open your exercise book as well. Write the title map or maps and the date at the top. You can stop the video footage while you are doing this. And write the first important thing then. Lowlands, plains between 0 and 200 meters, green areas on map. You can always stop the video footage and you can just complete all these in your exercise book. So this is the first thing you are writing. You don't need to draw, okay? Don't draw maps. Of course, that could be a bit hard, but you can just color a tiny bit of area in there on the page to show that uh, uh, lowlands are always green on your map. Next part. If you stopped the video, you can continue with me now. Hillocks and hills. Like Galliot here. It's tall, but it's not that tall. Um, how tall are these? And what is the color? The color can be seen here. Light brown or yellowish areas on a map. 
and Gallia Hill is over 200 meters, so you can see that it's a very good example. And let's see, they are between 200 and 500 meters, so not taller than 500 meters. This is a category which can help people um, in everyday life when they want to symbolize something on a map. Next category, again, of course, you need to write these in your exercise book, so you can stop the video, do that. Middle mountains. Oh, they are really brown on a map, but not that dark brown, just kind of middle brown. And between 500 and 1,500 meters, we can say that it's a middle mountain range. In Hungary, we have quite a lot of these. Börzsöny, Mátra, Cserhát, Zemplén, Bakony, lots of lots of middle mountain ranges. And to tell you the truth, I'm standing in a middle mountain range now, because now I'm in Buda, in the Buda mountains, which is part of the Dunazug, Dunazug mountain range. Not so far from here, you can even find Pilish and Visegrad mountains, and even Vertes and Gerece are not that far. These are all middle mountain ranges. One more interesting fun fact. Some of the middle mountains were volcanoes a long time ago, like Matra was a volcano or Börzsöny was a volcano. So, luckily, they are not active anymore, so we don't need to be scared. There's no kind of smoke or gases coming or lava flows uh, from these volcanoes anymore. Okay, finished. Next one. High mountains is the next one. Really dark brown areas on maps. They are really tall. Look how tall they are. They are well over 1,500 meters. The tallest ones in the Himalayas, uh, the biggest mountain range system on Earth, can be well over 7-8,000 meters. The tallest is uh, Mount Everest or Chomonuma is the local name. Uh, almost 9,000 meters tall. Okay, now I think we could complete the important parts here. So I'm going to stop showing you this presentation. Let's go back to our book tasks because we need a map. Need to see a map. Now, please look at your book at page 83 and this is going to be your homework task as well, so please listen carefully now. Okay? Color the topographical map and answer to the questions. Uh, so, what are these questions here? Color the water blue, color the mountains brown, color the lowlands green, and color the key yellow. This is the key here. So, I can see the waters, Pacific Ocean, you can see the land, land. I'm just showing you this because uh, once or twice some of my students, a uh, couple of years ago, kind of mixed the thing. So, this is the sea, this is the water, this is a piece of land, this is a piece of land, this is a piece of land, okay? So you can do that now. What is the name of the largest island on the map? The biggest one. Please find it and write it down. When you finish all this, of course, you can send me the photograph of the page in an email, okay? Next question. What is the name of the ocean on the map? Please find the name of an ocean. Oh, by the way, do you know all the oceans, the big oceans of the Earth? Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, and some people even call the area around Antarctica Southern Ocean. So, what, which island is farthest west? West, 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 west. So which is the westernmost island? You can find it somewhere there, mm. but I'm not helping more. Which island is farthest south? So you need to find the one which is really in the deep south. What direction would you travel to go from Hilo to Mauna Kea? So you need to find these two places and you need to find the kind of direction. So what is the direction you need to go to? So if you finished all these, don't forget to take a picture and send me the information. And we can meet in our next Zoom class later on. So keep up good work. Bye-bye.